TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday. Two hours left to go in the trading day, two hours left to go in the trading week and the quarter. Monday, April 1st, starts off the new quarter, and we're coming in with some positive territory. Dow Jones up 144 points, trading at 25,863. You got the NASDAQ up 42 points, trading at 7711. And the S&P's up 10 points, trading at 2831. Some action in gold up $2.90 had been higher, but $2.90 trading at $12.98.20. We got oil up 82 pennies, trading above $60. $60.11. Notes and bonds, slightly lower price, higher yield, 10-year 10 10 -year note, negative 6 ticks, 124.09. 30-year bond, negative 9 ticks, 149.24. And the dollar index up 56 ticks at 96.815. And the pound back under 130, 129.95 as Theresa May deals with another defeat in Brexit. And why not? We'll start it off with... Brexit, we'll jump over here just to give a quick summation. The EU says no deal. And uh, the numbers here that you had, where was the vote? Maybe we'll get it. I want to get the number. They lost by 58, I believe. Uh, we're going to have to take through it. I'll get it ready. Nonetheless, third time, Theresa May, Brexit, Delta defeat, and we'll see what happened. And the pound will start it off. So there is your escalation from most of the morning. Seems like the market kind of knew things were not going to go as they hoped. You had the pound up there at 131.22, just at 8.45, right where it was as of about 7 a.m. Saw a little bit of hope early in the day, I guess. But from there, this is really when we saw the number come out that she had lost. Brexit was not happening today, and we're sitting right there, 129 on that pound. Gold contract, currently trading 12.97. We had been a size 13.04. Crude oil, quite a trade to higher prices for most of the morning. 9 a.m., we're up there at $60.72, currently trading at $60.12. S&Ps trading at $28.31. We spiked to a low of $28.23 earlier in the day. You may see these indices just kind of putter out for the end of the excuse me, quarter we've had, and quite a quarter it's been. Best quarter since about 2009, 2007, depending on what index you're talking about. And big day for Lyft, priced at $72.00 opens at 87.24 trails off a bit but still over 80 dollars they got to be happy over at lyft 80 dollars and 70 cents stay tuned folks dave white coming up with the power trading hour tom o'brien live at three have a great friday No matter what kind of trader you 